hi guys in this tutorial we are going to see what is apache camel and what is the use of it so in short apache camel is one auto routing mechanism so where exactly we need this apache camel normally in an enterprise there is lot of application running and some of them are legacy application and some of them are new legacy in the sense maybe this application design in old technology so similarly the interaction of those application is not easy as the implementation of the application is different so their message format may be different suppose one application is giving the xml response and uh, the client expecting json so there we need to perform marshalling on marshalling kind of things so however these are point to point integration so assume that legacy application changed his implementation or changed his business in future so the new application which developed with some latest technology directly interact with him directly get impacted uh, for the business change so instead of directly tightly couple the application each other we can use the additional layer to mediate the difference between the application so with this kind of mechanism we will achieve the loose coupling and not affect much our existing application so this is the main moral of apache camel apache camel is a rule based routing and mediation engine that provides a java object based implementation of the enterprise integration pattern so not only apache camel there are some more like third party is there to provide this enterprise integration pattern to make our application loose coupled one is the mail and another one is the like spring integration so today we'll discuss about the apache camel so let's discuss some basic about the apache camel what is that and which kind of framework so normally apache, apache camel is the lightweight framework it can be deployed in any uh, container like tomcat and uh, jbos fuse and uh, like web, web server so apache camel provide us bunch of components so with these components we can interact with multiple endpoints and we can interact with multiple external application for example assume i have a active mq component and i am exposing some endpoint so with the help of HTTP or FTP any we can consume the active uh, MQ provided endpoint ok so similar way Apache camel uses the multiple of message exchanging pattern so it can be JSON XML or plain object and camel provides many different type of converters for marshalling and unmarshalling as well to change the uh, format of our object so these are some basic idea about apache camel and the enterprise integration patterns so if you want more so i will post the official link of apache camel we can go in depth so normally if you will mark this application in real time we are doing like this like from one application we are just processing the data from either database or files or some active mq or rabbit mq and uh, due to by calling some HTTP protocol we are getting the data and again we are sending those data to a different application for uh, process process our business and again those data we are storing in some uh, like uh, in memory storage like database or files same ok so this uh, this is only the two application integration similar way we have we can have many application to integrate and to process the data so here i don't have uh, the other endpoint to access to show you here here i will explain with the file io stream operation how we can do that using the apache camel auto routing mechanism so here in a, the application which we are going to develop there we will see the couple of features the basic features like how to transfer the records from one file to another file and how we will filter the file and how we will process the files and how 
will process the multiple files from one directory to another another directory so let's do a small poc on that let's create one spring boot application okay just change the name spring boot camel spring boot with apache camel okay just change the package to camel now just add the web dependency here we no need web dependency just added camel okay it's not available on version 2.0.1 change the version okay and let's add the dev tools and then what else we need to add uh, fine let's try now let's import this application application imported successfully now let's go to the main class okay so here only i am not going to write one separate class so here only i am writing extends it from route builder mark the import statement org apache camel dot builder okay so this is an abstract class so we need to override the configure method okay so here we'll test we'll just move data from one file to another file okay so let's write the method name also self explanatory so you can check here from from which directory so let's then to you can check here to is coming with overloaded method okay we don't have any directory here let's create some directory first let me create a folder called a so create one more folder with name b we will transfer the data from a folder to b folder so create some let's create a file text file file 1 okay similar way create some file let it the same name okay give the path so file okay then specify the path it should be forward slash then our folder is a so one more folder this is our source folder from a we are going to transfer the data to folder b okay so now let's let's run our application and we will check whether data is transfer from a to b or not so let's write some spln
okay now let's run our application we need to specify some property in our application dot properties file that is camel dot spring boot dot main dot run controller true okay so now let's run our application run a java application you can check here started and end so let's check in our folder you can check here the data is coming to b the same with same file name the data is coming okay so here you can mark here our folder is a inside camel creating one more folder dot camel and inside that again he, he is copying our source file so for that we need to mention here no equal to true okay we added dev tools so let's close it and let's remove the file so that we will retest again okay now <coughs> copy the files to here and delete this one okay now rerun our application now let's check okay now there is not dot camel folder and data transfer success to our target uh, destination folder okay so let's stop the server and instead write here let's write a separate method and we will call the method from configure method so write like public void move all file okay then we will call here move all file okay so similar way here as per our code all the file from a to transfer file uh, folder b so now i don't want to transfer all the files i want to transfer some specific files so change the name to file to name to something like my file okay and remove from b this is the filter mechanism okay so it's not remove let's refresh okay now write a method who will transfer all like required file from folder a to folder b okay move specific file okay mention here string type so here we will add the filter condition filter ok it should be like header exchange you can mark here exchange is coming from org apache dot camel exchange dot file 
should be file name is yes, file name dot starts with my file I don't want to move all the files from source to destination I just want to transfer the file whose the file name starts with my file okay so instead of hard code here we will pass the value from runtime okay now let's call this method from here move specific file okay now let's run our application process started and end now let's check it's only my file the file name which starts with my file only populated to folder b okay now this is just filter the file name now we'll check the content of file like inside the file if I found some text then only it will move to the destination folder ok so let's remove this and write some text in file 1 I am writing java Tiki. here just write hi <coughs> here just right how are you ok I just want to like apply the filter if my file body contains java then only transfer that file to the target or destination folder ok let's refresh it ok so let's stop the server write a method again move specific file base file with body ok string content so here we will write like body dot contents java dot contents our content the content will pass at run time so comment this method move with body the content will pass java ok now run our application ok Ronald Java application process start and end now let's check the folder file 1 file where nothing notebook so let's do one thing copy this file let's stop the server create a folder here like source copy the file here now create one more folder destination ok so instead of give the like external folder let's specify the application related folder 
change it to source source and this one to destination okay destination okay fine now let's run Okay, now refresh our application. Source why data is not coming. Let's test with starts file body starts with. Let's check with this one. We added boots uh, dev tool, so it will auto bootstrap. Okay. Now let's test. Yep, it's coming. File one is coming. Here we have the term Java in body. Okay. So don't know why this contents method is not working here. Let's give the our external path, and we'll check with starts. Okay. with now let's test mm, let's test now yes file one which contains java that uh, there is some issue with contents method or something i did wrong okay so now let's stop the server now we will read the text file and we will process that in csv format ok so this is the example of process using a process using apache camel similar way you can read the text file or csv file and you can populate the data to database similar way you can consume like th this from you can consume a any rest endpoint and to these two you can populate to either database or file ok so I am just consuming from text file and formatting it to CSV ok so copy this file process don't have any parameter here we just need process ok so here I am using the lambda ok so here create the string body ok we will get the body from p dot get in dot get body of string dot class ok now I am creating one string builder now just split it using stream api rs dot stream of right stream of body dot split of okay then iterate it for each ok and add it to string buffer ok sp dot append s then comma separated value as we are going to generate the csv file 
okay now just set it to p dot get in dot set body our string buffer okay and we'll use our uh, project directory folder source and this is our destination okay remove this one so in uh, source let's let's delete these things we don't run this operation now create a simple file something like my file and here we'll write something like basant santosh ravi rakesh rajesh samas okay now it will generate in csv format okay here this one also we don't want now let's comment this method and we'll invoke the uh, file process okay let's check once yep now let's run it run as java application okay application run now let's refresh it's generating with same name my file let's open it you can check here it's coming in comma separated value okay so here we can change the file name let's stop the server and change the file name file destination file name record add the extension okay records dot csv okay now rerun our application refresh the application it's generating with extension record.csv and i default set uh, it the excel to open so it's opening with the excel format you can check here okay let it be now let's stop the server now we will do one multi process operation where as you might have a bank application and in my bank application in source folder I have a file with name payment mode okay it should be text payment mode dot txt or the extension okay I have the name I have the user ID something like this one the name and status whether the like credit amount is pending or like closed or it's like in interest mode okay so closed okay some id santos pending okay some id saroj and interest okay this one closed pending and interest 
this is suppose assume there is some few records in my payment mode dot text some bank application the bank employee expect exported this uh, format this this is the csv assume we don't have comma here so, and i want to separate the files based on the closure i want to generate one file based on the pending user i have to generate one more file similarly for interest user okay so for that we will write the business using the process how we can differentiate the file based on our uh, like multiple file process with different filter okay so write a method public void multi file processor okay so now copy this from okay what is this from dot on marcel dot csv dot is that split then you need to split the body of that uh, uh, message body body dot tokenize body dot tokenize as it is the csv i am adding comma separated value ok dot choice as we have multiple condition so i am adding choice dot when here you need to pass the like filter condition ok when body dot contains closed ok then it will goes to the file to file give the file name file what do you want to mention here the will change the file name accordingly copy this to okay destination folder file name we want to generate with close.csv okay so add uh, add one more condition like when contents pending then generate to different folder with different file ok check the file not this one payment mode dot text we have the status pending then another one is the interest okay close dot csv if contents pending then change the file name to pending dot csv okay similar way write one more if it is interest then interest dot csv okay copy the same name this is case sensitive so we need to copy the proper name then interest INTER ok so if uh, body contains close then it will generate the close.csv similar way pending.csv and interest.csv ok and let's remove this file this is the auto generated file in our destination due to our code somewhere I open this ok now delete ok and delete this one as well 
now let's refresh the application and comment the file process just invoke the multi file process okay now let's run our application CSV okay we need to add one dependency for CSV on Marshall okay so add in pom.xml now refresh the application and run it ok now application run let's refresh the page you can check here close.csv let's compare Basan having status closed Santos pending Soros interest ok so let's check Basan with status closed so similarly answer. for interest it should be Soros yes for interest Soros now for pending it should be Santos yes ok so this is the way we can separate the file based on the condition normally same things we can do using our java logic using buffer reader we need to iterate line by line then based on this is the second index of our array we just need to split by space and we need to check the second index dot equals closed pending or interest then we need to again map it to the separate file so here using apache camel and the process api we can make it like easily and this is also the auto routing we no need to manually like rerun the application to map the data from one file to another file ok so this is just example i show using file io operation this is the main syntax of the camel where from where you want to move your data to the target folder so that's why this is the tag from and to so in this uh, instead of this file statement you can write your uh, like database query from which database you want to migrate data from which database or else from any endpoint you can map data to the database ok I will do one more example using the mongodb ok read from uh, csv file and I will map those data to the mongodb in my next video ok so this is all about the apache camel basic and the file operation that's it about this particular video if anyone have any doubt or concern you can add a comment and those who not subscribed yet please go ahead and subscribe it thanks for watching this video